Hey guys, Alexey from Ace5 Studios and today we're gonna be looking at the rail spline and why you want to know what it is. So we've got a little airplane here, um, nothing special, just a subdivision surface with a null and stuff inside it. Um, now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to make a spline. So let's give it our pen tool, let's go cubic. And let's draw a spline that we're going to want a little plane to fly on. That seems pretty good enough. Nothing too much. Ah, oh, whatever. Do the job. Zoom out a bit. Now, so we right click on our plane, we go Cinema 4D tags, align to spline. And we drag the spline in. And let's set the keyframe here to zero on frame. Whoops. Let's move back to frame zero. Set to frame zero here, and let's set it to 99 or 100, whatever, on this frame here. And now we have our plane moving. Now, as you notice, it's kind of not pointing in the right direction, right? So what we're going to do is here, we're going to tick tangential. And now it's kind of flying backwards. Might be what you want, but if it's not, click the little null inside the subdivision surface. You could also, if you have it, uh, adjust the mesh, you should put the mesh in a null and then apply the tag to the null. So then you can rotate whatever is under it and point it in whatever direction you like. So holding the shift key, you can rotate 180 degrees and now we have a plane going in the right direction. Now what you'll notice is the movement right now isn't very smooth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to spline here and we're going to change this to uniform. Let's crank that up a bit. And you'll notice that now it's significantly better, but it's still a bit uh, janky. So what we do is we go to Shift F3 to put timeline, select this, select curves, press Control A, and click this little linear button. And now you have a nice smooth movement of our little plane. Now what we're going to want to do as well here is actually use the rail spline, which is the name of this tutorial. So we're going to grab this plane. And we're going to go to the move tool and control drag it up. And we're going to call this rail spline. And now here, in this little tag we have, we're going to drag the rail spline into rail path. As you can see, our plane kind of did a bit of a tilt. So we're going to go back into our little null, which is inside the object with a tag. And rotate it so it's pointing the right way. Now when we press play, what we can do is we can grab the rail spline and go to point mode. And for example, get this point and move it in here. And as you can see, when it goes past that point, it'll smoothly tilt in. And then when it goes to this one, you can make it tilt in this way. And now we have the animation of our plane doing all the proper curvature without keyframing everything everywhere. So that's very convenient. And the real spline is not only about animating planes. It's used all over Cinema 40 wherever splines are used. For example, let's make a new file. Let's make a little thin fence post kind of thing. And let's throw it into a corner. And let's go to our top view. And let's go again to spline and cubic. And let's draw a spline. Let's move it out a bit, nice and smooth here. And cloner and set this to object and drag our spline in here. Now it's not quite what we want. We want to switch this to step. There you go. We can make the step a bit smaller. And what we can do now is again we can copy the spline in the object mode. Let's drag it up. Call it a rail. And here you'll see that there is a rail slot as well. So let's put the rail in there. And now we can control all these smoothly and conveniently so they do what we want them to do. And this function is all over Cinema 4D. Like anywhere you see splines, you will usually see a rail spline. It'll, for example, in we also have in deformers, we have in the spline wrap, there's a rail tag. In probably in the spline effector, rail slot. So this is how the spline works, how the rail spline works. And I hope you enjoy using it and it helps you make better and funner projects in the future. You can also obviously animate this if you combine this with my tutorial on animating splines. You can then have, you know, 
even more control over all of this. So yeah, have fun. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. Don't forget to visit my website, ace5studios.com. And yeah. <laughs>